Welcome back to Case Closed Anime Review Episode 126. I was going to do this a little earlier, but I got interrupted 20 seconds in because dinner was ready. So basically, this is a redo of that one. Now, this week, there is no new episode of the series. Presumably because of the Olympics. That's my personal guess anyways. Yeah. The episode, if it wasn't delayed, I believe uh, they, they showed a preview last week. It was It's called Stakeout. I'm thinking, okay, you advertise this episode and you don't bother to actually, you know, air it? Yeah, I thought that was kind of weird. Like you, you have a, you have a scene for like next week, a trailer for it, and you come to next week and no new episode. I'm thinking, why? Yeah, that makes that make sense. Okay, yes. Yeah, so right now we are on the newest chapters. Yes, chapters of the manga. And you're thinking, chapters? Yes, they did release. Well, this first chapter was actually released last week. But for some reason, I have no idea why in the world this was. They decided, the website I'm using, decided not to upload the damn thing. Yeah, it's particularly quite bizarre. I don't really know what was the purpose of this. So, we're still in, we're pretty much these are the last two chapters of the, the Kaido Kid arc. Yes, there's another one of those. First one is chapter 1077, Mist. Hmm. Fans of Thief versus Public Security. The chapter begins right where we left off last time, where, oh, it was like, okay, it looks like, like, everything's exactly ready to go. Chip, chip. And, of course, Conan asks, as easy, I think that's even the name, the waitress who works for the pirate. Where as with new Asker uh, going to the well monitor room with Rand and Sonico. Okay. Yeah, it turns out she's also and it turns out she she's a fan of the Kaido Kid. Like ever wearing gas mask, even Cohen's wearing one. And he's like Okay, it's like thrust on and of course got and the two public security guys are like, What about our mask? As you have any right, and then thing goes off. We gas everywhere, and of course the area is covered with the stuff. <laughs> yep, and well, the Kaido Kid left his pawn card. I have successfully achieved the Queen's bang. Kaido Kid is like, what? How? And Colin figures, possibly, no, perhaps he just put the card that pretended to steal it. His usual trick. Hey. Cut the sealed contraption power supply. I need to confirm it myself. And then uh, Amaro says, please wait. What? If you happen to be the kid, you can easily snatch and hide it in your chest as you hide in your chest as the lid opens. And show us the empty interior and make it look like the, the kid stole it. That's right. <laughs> yep. And of course we see the public security guy's hand on his hip for some reason. Hide your jacket well. Hmm. Maybe that's a hint. So Conan is the one basically to open it up. Even Kyle can turn to a kid. Yeah, please let me a chair. He has shown a kid before. He turned it to, turned to um, George once in one episode. Yeah, Conan opens it up and it's gone. It's gone. Really? It's gone? Oh no, it's gone. Search a place. Search, search, search. Can't find a damn thing. What? I figure, hmm, who could it be? Oh, there's a who didn't wear a gas mask over there. And, of course, Conan borrows Amaro. He's like, where are the girls in the queue talking to you about the parrot's new item? You're kind of, yes. And, of course, then he talks to Azuzu. And, of course, then he talks to the other guy from public security. His name is Kazuma. Of course, can't use my his real name. And of course, after chatting for a bit, Cohen makes a phone call. Uses his phone to take a picture of the bench. And then we see on the hands of all three, 
We have Amaro guy's fingerprints on it. And of course, the Kazuna guy's hand, partial hand. And of course, Azumi kind of back of her hand. I see, I finally get it. Hmm, who could it possibly be? Now moving on to chapter 1078, Reappearance, the final chapter of this arc. You know, for an arc featuring the Phantom Kid, like, this arc is quite short. Usually his arcs are a little bit longer than this. Oh yeah, there's advertisement here for the 100th volume for Case Closed, the Case Closed manga released in Japan. Released on October 18th. So now it reads the conclusion to this particular story arc. Yes, the conclusion. After only three chapters. I will talk about this soon. If it's like, so after they basically, they couldn't find the place. And of course, I would keep chatting. But it's like, didn't seem to go away. I know that. If about where the Kaido Kid is. I know that. Oh, yes. This way. I was like, huh? And of course, girls are chatting for a bit. I guess our best two am ready. Now we should go home. He's a zombie, basically. I was like, about to take a picture of the case. Like, you shouldn't do that. It's a poor piece of evidence. You shouldn't touch it as you please. I want to take a picture of the kid's card. And make it my standby screen background. You can't. And of course, they're blushing. And of course, they walk away. So stop right there. Yep, and it turns out that the public security guy there, who is not Amro, the other guy, his partner, is in fact the Kaido Kid. All along. How do you know? The legs, the bench. The, like, thicker in the fact that that pamper is thicker. So basically, everyone surrounds him. It's like, oh crap, it's the Kaido Kid. And of course, fires his card gun. Yes, his card gun off for some of the while he's done that. Fires everybody. And of course, he... He's about to slip out, pull away from everybody, and then he's hit, and then and we're like, hmm, thinking about it, and of course he goes up. It's like now the return home. He's the top of the tower. It's like, and then he's handcuffed by Amaro in disguise as a police officer, which I think is so funny. The fact he would disguise himself. Yep, and, and basically look into the the jewel. Oh, he's probably like, I'm not the dude I'm looking for. And he say that he might the kids play, what are you doing? You forget I'm the kind of kid, you know. And of course he flies away, and of course Amar's recovered the the jewel, the the crown, and of course Amaro sent something to Kazuma place. Like, oh yeah, it turns out he's actually a big otaku. He's a big fan of Yonako. Yep. But I can't wait to see your performance. And that's a chapter. Yes. In the case of the Kaido Kid, he always has elaborate plans. Now, my little rant is this. Excuse me. For the fourth case in a row, we've had a story arc being only three chapters. Which is kind of dumb. If you think about it, yes. A lot of the more recent arcs have tend to be three chapters. I mean, the arc that came, that actually ended last year, the FSA Murrow case, that was six chapters. And before that was three, the previous two that were three, then the other one was four, and th like three or four. Yeah, it just seems like it's like that for some reason. I'm not really sure why. As a matter of fact, the, the case that just wrapped up in the anime, that was actually three chapters as well. And in the case of, well, this, it's good, definitely. But if you're curious, though, like, from the last known official case that, that was shown for the Kaido Kid's last official appearance, which, by the way, was three years ago. Yes, seriously. It was three years ago. I'm looking at the release date for. It was August 29, 2018 to December 19th, 2018. So roughly, just about three years ago, that was the Kaido Kid's last physical appearance to date in the manga. And the anime already adapted it just this year. Actually, it was last year they adapted it. Mm -hmm. Yep. And, like, it's something that the writer waits three years for... Actually, no, he did pop up briefly for the Kaido Kid, the Yoshiku's Kid Show. That was, presumably him, was actually Vermouth. Yeah, 
It was presumed with him, but I think his last special case he was involved with three years prior to that. And it's nice to see Amuro again. Now for him, I think like for the last special appearance he saw of him was a bit while back. Yes, I think like the last official time he was seen was trapped at the helmet farm. And that was just a year ago. That was his last physical appearance. That I, yeah, that was his last physical appearance. That in the manga, in the case of Bran, she she didn't do very much. Like not even Sonico. Usually she's there for something. She's there briefly at the beginning. Yeah, it's almost like we bring in Sonico in just because. And this is my personal theory. They brought her in because she was absent from the last case that features the Kaido Kid. So we gotta throw her in there. I guess the I guess the writer of the series must thought I have to throw this character in there because she was absent from the last time that I had I had the character catch show up. And there wasn't even an explanation in the manga or the anime why Sonico was asked because normally she usually is there. And this time she is, but she doesn't really do anything. No, seriously. She is nothing. Even when they go another character doesn't do anything, it's Ran. She does nothing this whole arc. She just does nothing. She just hangs out in the monitor room and that's it. And was she involved in the last case? Yeah, she was actually in the very last case. But this one? Nope. She wasn't. Now, as for when the next case is going to come out, uh, there's been no release date for it yet. Presum presumably this year. I wouldn't be surprised if we have to wait like a month for the next case. I would not be surprised. Yes. But it all depends upon the writer. Of course, this case, next case would be the 310th case. If you're curious about what was the 300th case, it was a Shogi Player Sarah Mirror case. That was a 300 case overall in the whole series. While this one they just wrapped up, this is, this is case 309. One thing I do hope, though, is that when they do the very next arc, hopefully it's longer than three chapters. Like, maybe... It, will, it, it did seem as though the writer kind of rushed his arc. It did feel a little bit rushed toward a bit, toward the end. But one thing I thought was really cool about this arc is the return of the card gun. I mean, the card gun itself has not really appeared in quite some time. Like, when it comes to the kind of kid, when was the last time you actually saw the card gun Make, make make a play in this series. Like, prior to this, like, when was the last special time in the actual manga that... Well... That the card got make a fist appearance in this manga? Well, not since chapter 864. Yes. 864... Which that was something which involved Makito, which was who was Sonico's boyfriend. Yeah, that was the last unofficial time. It was featured like when he had Kaido Kid versus Makio Kaido, but, but took uh, the one that featured Sonico's boyfriend. That was the last special time in the anime was seen. Yeah, that was episode seven hundred forty-seven. Episode aired. Wow, this is something though. The episode aired back in 2014. That was the last time in the anime the card gun was seen. I love the card gun. I think it's a really cool invention. And of course, it's something owned by the Kaido Kid himself. But 2014, that was like seven years ago. That was the last time physically the card guns appeared. And like, really? Yeah, really. As for the cape, which the, the hanging glider cape, that did make a return here. Which I'm particularly very happy with that. And its last appearance was also in that very same case. Yeah, seriously. Which, you're thinking, that's kind of weird. Like, it took a case that came out roughly, like... Well, roughly in the anime, eight years ago. Let's see, 864. In the manga. So... Prior to this, let's see. Here we go. So in the manga, this particular gun is not popped up in the manga 
in eight years. Yes, eight years, the last time since the card gun was used. And wow, that is something. I hope there's a note in the anime saying that, oh yeah, this is the last time the card gun was used, basically. Like, maybe there's a flashback to this one. Like, oh, the card gun. Awesome. I hope they include it in the anime adaptation whenever they actually do it. Yes. When? I don't really know, actually. Yes. I mean, it might be some time. I mean, well, they're now just getting to, well, when, when it gets the next adaptation of a manga case, it's going to be pretty much like... The, it's going to be started with the very case was the first one I covered for manga reviews that came roughly two years ago. Yes. So it might take a couple years for them to actually get this one. Who knows? Okay. So yeah, that's it for Sickler View. Stay tuned. Well, presumably if I, if I get a chance to do Battery for Jade today, that might be another thing I do today. Okay. Thanks next video. Bye.